Hey guys, welcome to Tea Time True Crime with Katie. And tonight I have one of those cases that will be with you. And it's controversial because how could someone really do this to their parents? Like, we're gonna talk about maybe an ex murderer. Peter Porco was found in his front door laying in a pool of blood. What is wild about this story, you guys, is that when the police found him, he had brain matter and skull fragments missing. While he was sleeping, the poor guy was attacked by an ax, did his usual morning routine, and then came downstairs and dropped dead on the floor. How did he not feel it? I don't even know. His wife, Joan Porco, was laying by his side in their bedroom. She also was horribly attacked by an axe. But you guys, you will not believe this. She had her brain showing when she was found, and she was still conscious after being attacked with an axe. Now you're probably wondering, Oh my gosh, who would do such a thing? Just go in while they're sleeping and just attack them? Guess what, you guys? Even though there is debate, their own son, Christopher Porco, was found guilty second degree murder. I just don't understand how you can be that angry to do that to your parents. But honestly, guys, it just seems like he was a spoiled brat and he just wanted more. And they say the motive was that with them dead and if the mother stayed dead, a million dollar inheritance would go to the children. Now, Chris would say he did not kill his parents and he wasn't even there. But guess what, you guys? On video, we got him and his Jeep. I mean, his big yellow Jeep. Someone's gonna see him. Warning, this image may be disturbing to others because it is very disturbing, but this is Joan Porco today after the ax. She's trying to get her son free, even though when she was found and the police said, who did this to you? Was it your son, Christopher? She nodded, but now she says they are dead wrong and to free her son. Thanks for watching and remember, you're doing better than you think.